Hi, Chris Gibson from Icon Collective here. Today we're going to have a more in-depth look at using scenes. One of the new and really exciting features in Live 9 is the ability to consolidate time to new scene. This consolidates the material from our arrangement page to new clips on tracks within the session page. This can be a great technique for cutting up extended jam sessions or even for remixing purposes. Let's have a look. So up here on my arrangement page, I have a session that I created some weeks back. What I'm able to do is select a span of time. For instance, let's take bars 57 through 65, so I have an 8-bar section. And if I control click on any of the titles of these clips, I have a new option that says Consolidate Time to New Scene. Let's go ahead and do that. What that's basically done is made new clips on our session page for every track that was on our arrangement page. I can trigger this as a scene now here. So if I wanted to kind of rearrange this, I can simply duplicate the scene by hitting Command D and then varying what clips are playing in this duplicate scene. Here's an example. One of the other really cool elements about using scenes is our ability to change the tempo depending upon what scene we're playing. Let's have a look at doing that. On any of these scenes, I have the option of control clicking and choosing the option that says Edit Launch Tempo. What that's going to do is trigger all of the clips in that scene and automatically change Live's global tempo. This song was written at 92 beats per minute, but I can go ahead and enter 96 beats per minute to kind of give a slight increase in energy. You'll see when I trigger this scene that's titled 96 BPM, my global tempo here in the top left will change with the triggering of the clips on that scene. You might have noticed, underneath Edit Launch Tempo, I have the option of Edit Launch Time Signature. So for instance, if I wanted to have a section in my song that was in 3-4 perhaps, I could go ahead and do that like so. That was a more in-depth look at using scenes within Live 9. Thanks a lot for watching.